Hello, welcome to Gameplay by Ardubich. Today I'm playing Windward by Tashiren Entertainment. This is a uh, sailing game, pretty much. Uh, you play as a ship the entire time. There are six different nations. All of them are customizable. There are also pirates. You can choose to either represent the nation that you choose, or you can go pirate. Um, the world is procedurally generated, and when you start a new game, you can choose the different settings as far as the world size, the different factions, and all that, and we'll, we'll get into that in here in a little bit. Uh, graphically, it's not too bad on the eyes. Uh, the water graphics look nice, as you can see in the background there. Um, the, when we get into the game, the ships are much bigger than like towns or anything like that, but I mean, that's common in a lot of games. There are three different um, modes as far as uh, multiplayer. So you got single player, single player where friends can join, and then you have server-based multiplayer. Uh, we'll go ahead and jump into single player here. Then I'll go ahead and start a new game. Uh, we'll do gameplay by a dubbage for the main world. Um, and it looks dull for name world. Hmm. I'll just call it world. Screw it. Um, I do have the box checked for allowing friends to join. And what that is, if there's someone on my Steam's friends list who has this game and they see me playing it, they can right click on my name. You cannot have the game already launched when you do this. So you close the game out, you find your friend who's playing the game, right click on the name, and then click join game. And it'll bring you into a direct connect screen for joining my single player game. Uh, if I were to uncheck this, then it, it would make it so that no other friends could join. But uh, I'll go ahead and leave that checked. So we go into create world here. And the first options we have are the challenge, so we can make it harder, easier, we can scale the uh, combat damage. We can allow uh, player shifts. What this means is um, when you play a game, you can progress as far as building up your ship, your equipment and crew and all that stuff. If I was to turn this off, anyone who joined the game would have to start with a freshly new ship and start all over. Um, I'm not sure, I, I'm pretty sure that you can save your uh, ships for different games, but we're going to go ahead and leave that checked. Limit item stats, this makes your gear scale to easier zones. So if I was to go questing out in harder zones and I got, say, you know, level like 50 gear, and then I go to a level 10 zone, my gear will scale down to level 10. Uh, it won't work the opposite way, so if I have level 10 gear and I go to a level 50 zone, I'm dead. Because uh, it won't scale up. Permanent War, and I am going to go ahead and check this for this video. What this means is all six factions are at war with each other, and that doesn't change. Um, faction War allows for PvP if you're playing with other players. Um, or if you're playing single player, it's just faction versus faction. And then these are the six factions here. You can customize them from the name, description, their affinity, so combat, exploration, questing, trading. Um, I'm going to go ahead and make everyone kind of even here. Choose their valley type. You can choose their uh, insignia, sail color, boat color, tower color, faction color. And then you can choose their ship stats. And just for the interest of making all the um, factions even, I'm just going to make every single faction like this stat-wise. So go through here and change all that. I'm not going to change any of the names or anything like that. Um, in one of my other games, I did change faction 6 and their settings, but I don't think that's going to carry over to a new game here. The reason I'm setting all this to um, 
even is because with all the factions being at war, it would put the factions at a disadvantage that aren't geared for war. Uh, this way it makes everyone even, so we're not going to have two or three factions completely wipe everyone else out. And yeah, I didn't save any of the stuff from my last, uh, or my other game that I'm normally playing. So every time you start a new game, you will have to re-customize everything if you made any changes. Okay, so we got all our factions even. Let's go ahead and accept that. And now we go to the world map. Um, so each one of these tiles here is its own zone. And the zones can be fairly big. Uh, you can easily spend 30 minutes to an hour exploring one zone. Um, and that, that depends if you want to clear all the fog of war, or if you just want to uh, sail around a little bit and go to the next one, or if you want to find all the cities or whatever. So, um, you know, the 9x9 is the smallest one here. And uh, what that would mean is. I'm not really sure as far as the 9x9 nine because nine, you can have a lot more than 9 tiles, but um, yeah, I can't explain that. I'm, I, have, I got nothing for it. But if I fill all this in, then the entire map is a 9x9, nine nine, even though there's uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Okay, so I was wrong. So it is 9x9 nine nine tiles, um, which would give us 81 zones if my math is correct. You can make the game up to 33. And as you can see, that's huge. And if I was to just fill all that in, there's no way that within a couple months of gameplay, you would even come close to exploring everything in the game. So it can get really large. Uh, for the sake of this video, we'll go ahead and do nine by nine. Um, and in fact, Here. Um, let me remove all these factions. I'm actually going to make this a lot smaller than 9x9. Nine nine. Um, I'm going to make it so that there's only six zones. Uh, and maybe I'll do a little bit of a border between hometown or like home cities here. So go uh, that's not gonna work either all right you know what we'll just go six by six and we'll make uh every faction just have one zone here and being that all the factions are at war this will make it uh, pretty contested so um, all right so we got our map customized got our factions placed let's go ahead and play oh I have to choose a starting faction um, eeny meeny miny mo this one okay all right so it looks like I'm the green faction um, this bar up here shows what, like, how much control over this zone that you have, and uh, it's showing that there are five nations that have cities within this zone. So let's go ahead and start taking over a couple cities. WSAD is your movement, and we're already going to get into some combat here. You gotta keep the side of your ship pointed at them. Uh, so far, none of the ships that I know of have front or rear facing cannons. And we 
when you destroy a ship, it will drop a loop. All you have to do is drive over it or get close and click on it. There is collision damage, so if I was to ram the ship, you see I cause a little bit of damage there. The bigger your ship, the more damage you do, or if you're a small ship trying to ram the large one, it's really not going to work. You'll probably hurt yourself more than you will the other ships. Um, there are different kinds of cannon fire. Uh, I've been using this one here, which is just a regular volley. Um, I was able to get a chain shot equipped, so I can use that if I want to take out sails, but uh, I really don't, at this point anyway, see the need for it. It's already combat's getting pretty heavy because everything's so tight. Um, you can repair at sea when you're not in combat, or you can return to your town and it will repair for you, which I'm going to try to do because I'm going to die. When you get to an enemy town, you can overtake, yeah, being in combat, I'm not going to be able to repair, so I'm pretty much dead, and I led them back to my hometown, so this might be a quick game for us. There we go, I died. And then they're going to start taking over my hometown here, see how long it takes to respawn. Okay, looks like we have a town there. Oh, I was watching some. Okay. It looks like it actually. S no, okay. I am in the same zone, but nowhere near where any of the fighting was. Looks like I have two cities explored. Um, both of them are controlled by us. This little shady white zone here is leaving the zone. So if I was to sail into that then I'd be going to the next zone. Um, don't want to do that yet. I want to try to clear out this zone and get a foothold. Alright, it looks like this is going to be the edge of the map. I think we, yeah, we were in the bottom left-hand corner, so we'd only be able to go right and up. Let's go ahead and get our zone explored. So here's Aaron Fall. Sail in, see if there's anything here for us. Um, as far as progression goes, there's ship upgrading, there's uh, upgrade or like better equipment, and then you can upgrade your skills as well. So if you go into ships here, you'll see that I have the Sloop of War, which is the second ship. The next ship's going to cost me 10000 or I can just save up for one of the other ships here. Um, this is not the largest ship, it's just this is a small uh, town so they don't have as much to offer. Um, you do have inventory here so I can equip different kinds of cannons, different kind of cannonballs. I can change my sail colors, uh, that'll upgrade my ship. There's crew, there's captains you can do. Also there are talents. Um, so when you gain XP and eventually level up, you'll gain a skill point, and then you can use those to place on these skills here. Uh, some of the skills you have to are, are linked, so you have to do the first one to get to the second one. Uh, let's see, what do I want? Hmm. I have my accuracy, damage, and my mobility all the way up. Uh, I could do damage reduction. We'll go ahead and increase our volley damage here. And then it looks like the reset is pretty cheap, at least for the first one anyway. Um, I haven't done it yet, so I don't know if it gets more expensive every time you uh, reset your skills or not.
and if I hit land, it would damage my ship. Okay, so here's an enemy controlled town. We're gonna go ahead and take it and drive them out here. Maybe. Not sure why it's not letting me take it. Being such a small map, you might be limited to the minimum number of cities you can have, so that may be why we can't take uh, some of these cities. sucks. I wanted to show taking over a city. And apparently you cannot eliminate a faction because if you don't have the option to uh, take over all their cities then you can't eliminate them. And we have a four-way battle going here. Seeing how I was uh, the last to come to it, I'm going to end up winning it. This is not going to end well for me. Try to pick up the loot at least, right? It looks like I hit land there, so... Ended up damaging my ship a little bit. I got that one before I died. Alright, so the combat's getting pretty heavy here. Um, mainly because I didn't leave for any neutral zone, and all the factions are at war, so... If you really like combat, that's a really good way to go. Um, I'm going to try to show some of the other areas of the game here. So we'll go to internet here choose servers. This one here looks like it's an official server. Let's see if I go back here. Yeah, so this one here looks like it's an official server. The rest are all private servers. Let's go ahead and try to jump on the official server here. Uh, so item stats are limited. Player ships are allowed. Pretty much just basic, uh, basic settings. And you can see that uh, they have it set to 1919, which still looks really large. Um, okay, so there's two players in green right now, two in red. Looks like there's one player blue, or two players in blue. One player in the white. Not seeing any in the cyan. Got one in orange. The black is um, neutral waters, and you're going to see a lot of pirates there. Looks like red needs help, so let's go ahead and choose red. Actually, red looks like it's starting all the way down here. I could choose to start there, though. I'm going to try to take over some of this area for red. Okay, I guess I can't. Oh, I see. I don't have enough. I can 
start there. Yeah, in order to be in red, I'd need more skill points. So I don't have enough points to help red out. Um, it could be orange. It could be blue, uh, white as well. Let's go ahead and... Well, actually... be a trading faction. Don't really want to be an exploring one either. There we go. We can be green. Alright, so I am playing online now. Um, looks like there was only 15 players online, so chances of actually fighting another player is low. You can see there's a lot of lighthouses and lookout towers built. The lookout towers will fire cannons in defense. Actually, there are two players right there, so could meet up with them. <coughs> um, there are missions that you can actually start your own town. I don't know how common they are, but let's see here. Uh, so we can hunt down a pirate or ferry passengers to Alaska. Let's go ahead and hunt down a pirate. When you take quests, that's one of the easiest ways to get gold and XP. Combat is another way. And then it will give you a little marker that tells you where to go. Alright, this is... Oh, that's the pirate we're hunting. Okay. Looks like he's got a little bit of speed on us, huh? Go ahead and just sit here and pound on him. As I get ran from a partnership here. That was a player that ran me. So that was awfully nice of him. <laughs> Alright, uh, let's go ahead and repair. I could repair at sea here if I wanted, and it costs wood, but I'm going to go ahead and just sail to another city and repair for free. they have anything uh, that's what I really want to do I could change uh, sail color maybe some, oh this is all the stuff that I have here um, I could change my sail embroidery to swords and uh, go pirate you do have the option to go pirate as well um, let's go ahead and sell all this stuff here. These sealed letters will give you quests. I'm not really in the mood to do this, so I'll just take the extra gold. Uh, that's not as good as what I already have. This right here is the base ammunition. I'm going to keep it just because... Um, the one I have equipped had a number, and I'm not sure if I can run out. It was the same for the cannon as well. I can see I have another cannon here, and some grape shot as well. They have numbers, so I'm not sure if it's limited or... Actually, I think that's just its worth. Okay, yeah, that was just its worth, so... I can go ahead and delete this, I guess. Inventory of the town is full, so I don't know if I'll be able to sell any of this. I'll 
keep these on hand just in case I feel like changing my embroidery later. Okay, so this Corvette is actually the largest ship that I've seen in the game, and if I had that money, I would absolutely buy that because that's crazy stats right there. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and head out here. Uh, looks like we can get out down here. Where am I at now? I'm up here, so let's just head south. So far I haven't noticed any lag. Um, I did see the one guy kind of rubber band a little bit, but it looked like he got it fixed. And that kind of seemed more like it was on his end. Um, seeing everyone else sail around here doesn't really seem like many people are lagging. Let's see if we can cut through here. So we're going to go ahead and go to the next zone here. Alright, this zone is rated as uh, challenging, I guess. Recommend that you have 12 skills. I don't think it'll be that hard for me. Um, looks like if we go north, that'll be the, the next zone. Kind of sucks that you can't get a world map. I haven't noticed a way to do that. Maybe fast travel? Okay, yeah, we can fast travel. Um, and we have a ways to go before we get to any PvP. Um, if I open my inventory here, I can turn my white flag on. That makes it so that... Um, I disable PvP. And we got a pirate here. This looks like it might actually be a player. Maybe it's not a player. The player wouldn't just sit there getting crashed. So that was just a more difficult NPC, that's all. Nothing too hard though, especially since you kind of himself by coming in the wrong part of town here. Oh, I'm gonna hit land. Let's go ahead and get into town here and repair before I die. Alright, so I don't have I'm not level 12 yet, so I can't equip this, but it's definitely better than what I already have. Um, same with that. I don't know which one I'd go with. I think I'd go with this one, actually, because it has better haul, more mobility, and uh, speed.
right, we'll go ahead and explore up north here. Could go to the next zone and increase difficulty, but judging by the uh, way this zone has already started off, it doesn't seem like something I should really do. How's our talents going? Oh yeah, I wanted to show you some things while I was in town, but got interrupted by a pirate. Uh, there's a town up here. So if the town's big enough, it'll have some rumors, and the rumors will tell you, you know, like, oh, this town might need, you know, or like this town here that I'm at here, uh, Desville or whatever, will have an abundance of, say, shipment of wood or something like that. And then if there's a rumor, uh, it's like, uh, this town has wood and another town needs it, and it'll tell you what the other town was that needs it. Um, so those are some of the rumors. The vault, if I want to go ahead and save items here, um, I'm not 100% sure if the vault goes from town to town, just stays at the town, or is any town in your faction, or how that works. Um, there's a quest here to find a town, so we'll go ahead and just do that real quick. Um, if I do open my inventory here, uh, the thing I want to show you as far as going pirate is I can either choose green water for my faction or I can go pirate. Going pirate will allow me to attack any faction player. Um, I'm sure I could probably attack other pirates too. Um, that would be kind of tough because, or at least in these zones here because there's so many NPCs that spawn that you'll just get annihilated. Kind of like how it was in that single player game. There's, there's just so many enemies all the time. Um, at higher level it would make sense to go pirate because you'll be a little more out into open space. Uh, you can maybe settle a few pirate towns and um, have a place to sell your goods, repair, not have to worry about uh, as many NPC spawns um, and also being higher level and we complete a mission by just getting up to the town here uh, by being higher level I could always come into these lower level areas here and wreak a little havoc um, so I'm guessing I'm level 10 right now uh, I need two more levels in order to equip some of the stuff that I've looted from the zone. And that's why I don't really want to go to the next zone because I'm already a little under leveled for this zone here. Uh, we'll see just how under leveled I am as I go hunt down this pirate. And most likely, for part of the battle anyway, going to be on my own. Power, but it's not a lot. Then we got another person coming here, and actually, we got. Oh. Run away a little bit. 
little bit, let that guy take some of the damage. Barely got out of that fight. I have like no health left. So we need to get to a town ASAP. And my sales got messed up a little bit, so it was a little hard turning there. And it looks like there's a town right over here. So, um, definitely couldn't have done that on my own. So the difficulty does get really challenging. As you can see, free automatic repair. Let's see if I can sell anything here. I don't want pink. Uh, what is that, sailor? Yeah, I don't, I don't want pink anything. So I'm gonna go ahead and sell that. Uh, canvas sale. The diplomacy gives you better prices in town stores, so it's not like you can uh, engage in dip diplomacy with other nations or anything like that. It's just. This should pretty much just re rename it negotiating or something. Uh, so we'll go ahead and sell that because it's not as good as what I already have. Um, I don't care about diplomacy, so I'm going to sell that as well. And we'll just wait until I'm level 12 to equip that, and that'll actually make us a lot stronger. It'll, it actually more than triples our armor. Triples our hull, almost doubles our mobility, and almost triples our speed. So that alone is going to make a huge difference to our ship. Um, I probably should just head back to the last zone. The Corvette looks a little cheaper in this zone, though. I think it was a little more expensive than the other one. I am close to another ship upgrade, though schooner here. Uh, let's see how it compares to what I have. It's got 30 more defense, 40 more offense, 40 more support, uh, 10 less mobility but 10 more speed. Uh, so overall it'll be worth its upgrade. Although I could just save an extra 6,000 go with the Brigantine. I think that's probably what I'll do is just save up and go for that because if I was to buy this it won't take any of the price off of this um, so it'll be easier to save an extra 6,000 instead of upgrading and then saving 16,000 so that's what I'll do um, but actually uh, I didn't really plan on making this a video series I just wanted to get this video out there show it uh, show it to some friends and show it to the few subscribers that I do have. Uh, it's a really fun game that I've been enjoying and the multiplayer aspect will uh, make it a lot more fun if more people are playing. Uh, I know there's a lot of people who haven't had a chance to check out this game so I figured I'd go ahead and just put a little bit of a let's play out there. If you want to see more um, more of this game just leave it in the comments that you'd like to see more episodes and I'll go ahead and do you know like a, I'll create a new world make it a little bit bigger and we'll go ahead and do kind of a campaign uh, otherwise I'm just gonna leave this as a single let's play video so that you can get an idea what the game's about uh, so again this was uh, Windward and I appreciate you watching and supporting my channel please like comment subscribe and thank you for watching. Bye.